early on when Jessica died, um, right away I felt like I was pushed, pushed out of, of, of the, the process. Jessica's not my bi biological daughter, so her dad came in and immediately it was like I didn't have any part in this. This was Leah's daughter, his daughter, and I didn't have anything to say. And that hurt me. That's not uh, fair. But I've heard you say that he didn't even have the right to grieve for her. Don't you do that. This isn't your daughter. This is my daughter. Right. But that didn't happen until years later. This is the first time I've ever heard this. And this is a problem in our marriage because if I don't know what I'm dealing with and I don't know why he's closed down, mm -hmm. he got offended in the hospital. I'm having to make all these medical decisions for Michael. I'm helping to plan Jessica's funeral and I have massive injuries all at the same time. I, this is the first time in ten and a half years I heard that. So the grieving. What are you he hearing for the first time? That he got offended or was upset or hurt that it was just um, Jessica's dad and myself. You felt pushed out, and that if you couldn't be a part of the process, <clears throat> you closed up. So that I've never once heard that. So I had no idea why he was disconnected. He's never shared that with me. So the the whole mentioning Jessica's name. And that grieving process didn't happen until years later after we've gone through marriage counseling. If I would have known this, I could have, uh, this has been a huge problem, right? If I know what I'm dealing with, I have no problem saying, I had no idea you felt that way. I had no idea you felt that way. When my whole family that I'm supposed to protect is in a head-on collision with somebody who falls asleep at the wheel, I can't, <clears throat> I can't save my daughter, I can't s stop Michael from you know, having to be paralyzed, I can't save my wife. You know, I can't do, I feel helpless. What do you expect him to say when you say, I wish you had been killed instead of her. You don't have the right to say her name. Don't you mourn for her. She wasn't your daughter. What, what do you, what, tell me, what is the desired result when you say that? I want to hurt him. I, in those moments of rage, which is not acceptable, I wanted to hurt him. I wanted him to feel some of the pain so that I was So you want feeling. to inflict pain? I wanted to inflict pain. Okay, so you're trying to make him feel inadequate as a man, failure as a husband and father, and guilty for having survived. Um, Those are your messages. Well, that was the message sent. That wasn't <clears throat> a preconceived thought, like that's what, but that's the message he definitely should take away from that. And I was very regretful that I even went there with him and should never have allowed myself. It wasn't a continual bashing. It was wrong, and I've repented multiple times for it, and I was hurt that I even said that to him because I don't want to inflict that kind of pain on him. I don't want him to be that to be the takeaway. But you say today, if you could afford it, you would divorce him. Yes, Dr. Phil. If I, that's why we're here, because I am stuck. I don't know how to get out of this. <clears throat> I have sought counseling multiple times to try to get us on the same page so we can start making progress working through this because I, there's amazing qualities about him I love.